guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you my April TBR. I have eight books that I want to get to this month. I don't know if I'll be able to read all of them because I'm going to be going, uh, doing some stuff from work, and it's going to be Easter, and I'll have family stuff, so we'll see, but I'm just going to put all eight of them on here, and if I don't get to them, I'll just put them off till May, but yeah, so let's just get right into it. The first book I want to show you is The Ice Cream Queen of Orchard Street by Susan Jane Gilman. This is the story of Lillian Dunkel, and I think she's a real person. It doesn't really say, but I think she's a real person. And it's basically a fictional account of her life story. She was born in Russia and came over with her parents, and then she was abandoned because she had some kind of... Um, disability and then she gets adopted by a Italian ISIS salesman and then eventually she works her way to creating this like ice cream empire and it sounds really cool and I got this at Barnes and Noble like last year I think so I've had it for a while so I'm looking forward to this one. I then want to reread a book. I want to reread City of Dreams by Be Beverly Swirling. This takes place in the 1660s in New York City, which is called New Amsterdam at that time. And it follows Lucas and Sally, and they are brother and sister. They come over from somewhere. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, they come over and... Uh, Lucas is a surgeon barber, and then Lucy is an apothecary, and it's about how they make their way in New Amsterdam. And this is the first in a series of four books that shows the history of New York City, and I read this uh, once when I was like a teenager, like 15 or so years ago, but I never read the other three, so I want to reread this, and then I want to read the other three sometime this year. But yeah, looking forward to this one. I then went to read The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. This is one I've been wanting to read for a while, but uh, I talked to my aunt's husband at Christmas about this because he was reading it and I got really interested in picking it up. And then Heidi last month, Heidi from My Reading Life was reading it last month and she raved about it and it just inspired me to pick it up because I have this nice paperback copy and it, there's no reason not to get to it. This is about um, Henrietta Lacks who had cervical cancer in the 1950s and she was an African-American woman. Uh, that's her on the front right there. And they took some of her cells which were called the HeLa cells and then they started using them for like cancer research and all kinds of uh, stem cell stuff and like they're still being used today as far as I know but uh Henrietta never knew that they were using her cells and she was never compensated and her family's never been compensated so it sounds like it's a really interesting book and again everybody I've talked to that's read it seems to really love it so looking forward to this one I then want to read The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This was popular like when it first came out a year or so ago. It's a YA like romance and it's a male-male relationship and it's about this guy named Monty. I assume that's him but I don't know and he is sort of like a playboy and he likes to like party and stuff and his father wants him to settle down and like get started in the family business and I think this takes place in like the 1800s and he sends uh, Monty on like a grand tour of Europe and Monty takes his sister Felicity and then his best friend Percy and he's also got a crush on Percy and I think they fall in love while they're going around Europe on this grand tour. I don't know too much about it except that everybody really likes it. I got this last Thanksgiving at a little free library when I went to visit my brother so I'm really looking forward to finally getting to this one. I then want to read The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. This is Jeanette Walls memoir of her alcoholic father and then her mother who didn't really take care of him and they were homeless and they lived on some kind of like farm I think but then their parents never worked and it's about how she and her siblings sort of got 
passed this and became really, really successful, but then their parents would never, like, really accept help. And it just sounds like a really sad but interesting book. Um, my mom, my mom's read it and really enjoyed it, and there's a movie out now that has Brie Larson as Jeanette Wall, so I'm looking forward to reading this and then watching the movie, hopefully, in April. Um, yeah, just... It sounds like it's going to be really sad, but also really powerful. And, you know, Educated by Tara Westover has been really big lately. And I think this is sort of in a similar vein. So I'm going to get to this one. I then have my Willow Catherine for the month, and that's my Antonia. This is her fourth book, and this is about um, a guy named Jim Burden. And he's sort of giving his describing his childhood, specifically his relationship with his childhood friend Antonia, and it's about, you know, the Nebraska Prairie and pioneers and all the things that uh, she likes to, uh, that Willa Cather likes to write about. This is her third book in the O Pioneers trilogy, although they're not like a direct trilogy, they just all have some more themes and they're all put together in this sort of pioneer uh, mindset. So yeah, looking forward to this one. I, I think I read this before. I mean, I already had a copy of it, so I think I read this before a long time ago, but it'll be really good to read this again. And then April 2019 is the 20-year anniversary of the Columbine uh, school shooting in Colorado, and so I'm going to be picking up Columbine by Dave Cullen. I bought this uh, one time when I went to visit my brother at his local used library book sale, and um, I never got around to it, but I just figured since it's the 20 year anniversary, I'm going to pick this up. This just gives you a step-by-step -step, um, recounting of the tragedy and how it what happened and how the two shooters planned it and their motivations and everything like that. So I can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I think it's going to be a very interesting read. And Dave Collins also got that new book out about Parkland. So I think it'll be interesting to see if reading this gives you any insight into Parkland, even though that was, you know, 20 years later or 19 years later. So yeah, uh, this will be very good, I think. And then finally, the eighth book I want to read this month or that I'm already reading that I'm going to plan to finish in April is my Bible study book for the month, and that is The Moral Teaching of Paul by Victor Paul Furnish. This is the third edition. We're doing a five-week class over Lent, and we're supposed to be finished on April 24th, so I'll have to read the last chapter by then. And this is just uh, talking about Paul's writings. There's actually, I didn't know this, but um, there's always seven of Paul's letters that they know were written by him and all of the other ones they think were written by like students of his or like people that followed him. So th this is talking about the seven that they know Paul wrote and reflecting on them and how those letters can be viewed in light of current day and then it's also discussing like the setting that Paul was writing in and the people he was writing to and things like that. So I'm already learning a lot. At time of filming, I've only read the first chapter, but it's already really interesting and I think you're going to learn a lot. So yeah, and the class is being taught by the senior pastor and she, of course, has her master's in divinity. So I think it's going to be a really good class. So that's all I'm going to read this month. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get to all eight of them, but if not, I'll just move some of them into May or, you know, get to them later. Whatever. I'm just reading because I like to read. No pressure. i got plenty of time to meet my goal of 90 books. Uh, I hope everybody else is having a great day and you got some great books planned, picked out for April, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!